three I atlas has now turned green guys we see this in new images and it has changed the color so this is something new and this is something very important that we need to talk about especially since 3i atlas is reaching its closest point to earth it's getting closer to us december 19th is the date where we have a chance to observe it the closest so to speak so let me explain first what has been observed and then I'll explain to you why this is so interesting, guys. This is another amazing anomaly finding about interstellar objects slash comet slash spacecraft slash space junk, junk piece of rock or whatever the heck it is, right? You know that I am of the opinion that it is whatever the heck it is. We don't know yet, right? I want you to look at this image here. It's a Gemini image. It was taken on November 26, 2025, when astronomers took a new image of 3i Atlas, and they used the very powerful telescope Gemini North. And that is important because we can compare it to something else. So look at this image. Gemini North has a mirror that is 8.1 meters wide and about 26.5 or about 26.5 feet. So that is one of the largest telescopes on Earth. And it sits on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. And it's funded by the US National Science Foundation. And the instrument that was used is called GMOS. It stands for Gemini Multi-Object Spectrograph. Basically, what a spectrograph does, it splits light into colors. So scientists can then see by doing that which chemicals are present and that is highly interesting when it comes to this whatever the heck it is interstellar visitor 3i atlas. So now here's how the image was made because we need to know that right they didn't just take one photo they took four separate images and each image was taken through a different color filter blue green orange and red and then they combined them overlaying into one image so of course the telescope was locked onto 3i atlas so the object looks sharp but the background star the background stars they appear as streaks. That's what you see in this image. That's because the telescope followed our body 3i atlas as it was moving. And it's moving very, very fast. We know that. So what you see in this image, what you see around 3i atlas is like a glowing halo of gas. And that halo has a teardrop shape. We talked about this previously. And inside that teardrop shape, you see that green glow. And also, by the way, you can clearly see this anti-tail that we've discussed so many times. Big, big anomaly. This anti-tail is a strange feature that appears to point towards the sun, not away from it, right? In this image, the anti-tail points towards the lower left, which is the direction of the sun, and that alone is already unusual. We know that. So when Interstellar object 3i Atlas was going into perihelion. It did something and it was different when it came out. The color. So what does perihelion mean? Just very simply, we've talked about this. Perihelion is the moment when an object is closest to the sun. 3i Atlas has passed perihelion exactly four weeks earlier. So this image was taken after its closest approach to the sun when it was hidden from us. We couldn't really see it. And that timing, guys, is important because there was a big change. The color turned green. So the glowing halo around 3i Atlas now appears green. What does that mean? Well, let's find the natural explanation. The green color likely comes from a molecule that is called diatomic carbon, also written as C2. Diatomic carbon is two carbon atoms stuck together. So when sunlight then hits these molecules, they emit green light. Good explanation, right? So what does this mean? It means that the gas composition around 3i Atlas has changed. It has changed. 
That's the key point. Before perihelion, let's compare this to what was seen earlier. And that is very, very cool because we have basically twin telescopes. So now I'm going to show you an image that was taken in September. So on September 4th, 2025, before perihelion, 3i Atlas was imaged by Gemini South. That is basically a twin telescope in identical size, also has the 8.1 meter mirror, but it is located in Chile. And that's really cool that we have two identical telescopes. So the earlier image, guys, showed something different. The glow around 3i Atlas was red, not green. So before it passed the sun, the gas plume looked red. After it passed the sun, the gas plume looked green. Why does this matter? This color change tells us something very important, guys. It means the chemical makeup of the gas that is coming off 3i Atlas changed near the sun. That means in simple words, different materials started coming out after it was heated more strongly. Sun was heating it, right? Some components likely burned off, others became more dominant. And that's exi exactly the kind of information that scientists want from spectroscopy. And they're hoping to get more data from spectroscopy in order to be able to classify this whatever the heck it is more into one of the sections, right? Natural, not natural. So what we know, because of this color change, it shows that 3i Atlas is actively shedding gas and that this gas is evolving over time. And this is so important because we recently spoke about X-rays. You've probably seen this video. Let's talk about X-ray observations we have another x-ray image. The first ones were from PRISM. Now we have another observation. On December 3rd, a space telescope that is called XMM Newton has observed 3i Atlas as well. And XMM Newton is an x-ray telescope. So it does not see visible light. It sees high energy radiation. And it has observed 3i Atlas for 20 hours straight. So quite a longer term observations. And at that time, 3i Atlas was roughly about 284 million kilometers away or about 176 miles away. So that is farther than the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So it's quite far away. And the instrument that they used is called EPIC which stands for European Photon Imaging Camera. And why is it also glowing in these X-rays? 3i Atlas is glowing. So the X-rays do not come from the object itself. They come from an interaction and that is important. So the sun constantly blows out a stream of charged particles. We call that the solar winds, right? And we know that 3i Atlas is surrounded by a plume of gas. And this gas has been present for at least five months because that's how long we have observed it, right? So when the solar wind slams into this gas, a process happens that is called charge exchange. That process, that charge exchange, releases the X-rays. This is the same explanation that I have given you in a previous video for the prism X-ray detection. I'll put that video in the end screen. So now we have two independent X-ray observations, one from the YAXA prism and one from ESA's XMM Newton. Both guys see the same thing. Both reconfirm each other. A cloud of gas around 3i Atlas is interacting with the solar wind. So what do we learn from all of this? <laughs> no doubt 3i Atlas is really active. It's releasing gas. The composition of the gas has changed after passing close to the sun. The gas plume is large enough to glow in x-rays 
which confirms it has been there for months, for quite a while. Anti-tail pointing towards the sun is still present, which remains very unusual. Of course, nothing isolated proves there is anything artificial, guys, but it confirms that 3i Atlas is chemically very complex and strange. It's evolving and it's behaving differently before and after perihelion. It's not static, it's changing, and the sun seems to be playing a major role. And I have mentioned the slow gas anomaly in one of my previous videos. So I want to tell you now how the green color connects to the slow gas anomaly and why green comets are special and scientifically important. Because after perihelion, something changed. It tells us what the object is doing, but it also tells us what the object is not doing. And I will tell you why this color change connects directly to the strangest anomaly that we have seen so far. The gas around 3i Atlas is moving too slowly. It's moving too slowly against physics, against the physical laws of sublimation, where the ice gets heated by the sun and turns directly into gas. So let's have a closer look, guys. It's fascinating. Look at the Gemini green halo image again. So the C2 molecules, the glow green, is something we sometimes see in comets. It's not something that we have never seen before. But here's the key point. You only see this green glow when gas is released gently, not violently, not explosively, which brings us to the slow gas problem, the slow gas anomaly. Let's connect the dots. So normally when a comet gets close to the sun, its ice heats up, the ice sublimates. This means it goes directly from solid to gas. And this process creates fast gas jets. Typical speed of these jets is about one kilometer per second or 2,200 miles per hour. This is what physics predicts, but measurements of 3i Atlas show something else. The gas is moving much slower than this sublimation should allow. This is not a small difference, guys. This is huge. It's too slow to be explained by normal comet physics. And now here's the important connection. Why does green mean slow or does it? If gas were blasting out violently, we would expect a brighter dust, chaotic plumes, different colors, fast expansion. But instead we see a smooth green halo, a stable anti-tail, gentle outflow and slow gas motion. So green C2 emission works best when gas is not being ripped apart. It survives longer when conditions are calmer. So the green color supports this idea here, guys, it supports the idea that the gas is leaking out slowly out of 3i Atlas, not exploding, not boiling off violently. And that fits perfectly with this slow gas anomaly. It doesn't explain the slow gas anomaly, though. Let's have a look at the pre-perihelion image again, like the red glow. What happened before perihelion? Gemini South in Chile, September 4th. Same technology, we talked about this. Color was red, not green. That tells us something huge, guys. Space breaking. Chemical makeup has changed. Sun seems to have stripped away some materials. Other compounds became dominant. Again, not unusual for comets, but the way it happened here with 3i Atlas is unusual because the gas release remained slow. It stays slow. Let's wind back to normal comets. Why are green comets special? Green comets are very, very interesting because they re reveal, we can say, fresh chemistry, right? The C2 molecules are fragile. They don't survive long normally in like strong radiation environments. So if we see them, if we see that green, it means the gas is being released continuously but not violently and not to and not at extreme temperatures. So this suggests it's a controlled 
release. But with Three Eye Atlas, it's very different from normal comet behavior. Can we link that anti-tail that's pointing towards the sun and the green gas? Can we link that together? Because that green halo also contains the anti-tail. That means material appears to point towards the sun. Okay, this can happen through geometry, but combined with slow gas, it becomes very interesting, to say the least. Slow moving gas can linger longer. Lingering gas can create optical effects that faster jets would destroy. So the anti-tail and green color are not separate mysteries. They may be part of the same behavior. Now let's connect this with the X-ray observations. Solar wind hits the gas plume. This confirms the gas has been there for a month. Slow gas doesn't disappear quickly, fast gas does. So again, the X-rays support a long-lived, slow-moving plume. So they reassure us that this is real. Whew. Guys, let's put it all together now. Simple words, let's summarize this. Three Eye Atlas turned green after passing the sun. Green means carbon gas. Carbon gas survives best when released slowly. Measurements show the gas is moving too slowly for normal sublimation. The anti-tail persists because the gas is not blown away quickly. X-rays confirm the gas cloud has existed for a month. All of these point in the same direction. Again, it still does not prove that something is artificial and has thrusters. But it tells us something very important. 3 I Atlas is not behaving like a normal comet. We knew that. But we have another piece to the puzzle. Another anomalous piece. It's a brand new puzzle. Because physics says this should not happen this way. It should not. The mystery continues, guys. As we're approaching closest point to Earth, it'll be amazing to see what else we can hopefully learn and i hope you stay with me during that so subscribe guys thank you for hyping and liking click the notification bell although that doesn't always work with youtube so go to my channel start page i have a playlist for 3i atlas go to videos go to recent there's lots of stuff for you to watch and i'll put four here in the end screen including the 3i atlas playlist where i explain all these anomalies there's so many more guys it'll blow your mind let me know what you think what whatever the heck is this thing stay safe guys i see you here in a second bye bye